Well, it's that time once again. It is week seven in the National Football League. We're rolling right along, and I don't like it. I say this every year around this time. It's going too fast, and I'm going to miss it. I'm going to miss it so badly when it's gone again. This week, we'll start off by telling the teams on their buys, the Minnesota Vikings, the Miami Dolphins, the Indianapolis Colts, and the Baltimore Ravens, all getting buys this week. The games kick off with Thursday, October 22 uh, at 8.20 p.m. on Fox NFL Network and Amazon Prime Video with the New York Giants and the Philadelphia Eagles in Philadelphia. The interesting thing about this game is that the winner will take sole possession of the NFC East and both teams come into this game with a record of 1 and 5 for New York and 1 4 and 1 for Philadelphia. So go figure. That's the NFC East for you. Obviously, I'm a Giants fan. I'm realistic as a Giants fan. We don't beat the Eagles in Philadelphia. It, we just we don't we haven't in a long time. And I um I don't feel very confident that we'll be able to do it. They're missing a lot of pieces. But we're just a team that that I cannot see getting a win against a division rival in their house, a place that we have historically played very, very badly for a long time. But with that being said, for the sake of optimism, I'm going to take the New York Giants. Uh, I, I just I want to be first place badly. After, after starting 0-5, I would love to be first place in the NFC East. That would just be the... The greatest thing in the world. I, I'd be able to rub that in so many people's faces. Then October 25th, the games kick off with the 5-0 Steelers and the 5-0 Titans in Tennessee. This game is going to be a matchup of juggernauts, that's for sure. Um, I've got Tennessee. Their ability to run the ball is just unreal, really. And the Steelers haven't played anybody that would really suggest that their 5-0 record is indicative of them being an actually, <coughs> excuse me, an actually good team that will make waves in the postseason but the the Tennessee Titans on the other hand they're a team that is built to win and I do believe they will then the Dallas Cowboys and the Washington football team I'm gonna pick Washington in this game as, as, as strange as it may seem to do I just the the Cowboys defense is so bad it's, it's horrendous. And yeah, while Washington is a terrible football team, uh, we saw what what the Giants did against the Cowboys uh, defense, and then we've seen what the Giants have done for the other six weeks of the season. So if that's not you know, the, the, the first indication that the Dallas Cowboys defense is very, very bad, then I don't quite know what is. So I'm going to take Washington in this game. I think that they are going to sneak into a win. And um, that, this NFC East, as bad as it is, it's it's at least a tight battle for who's going to win it. Then the 4-2 Bills versus the 0-6 Jets. This one's a no-brainer, guys. It's going to be the Bills, the 3-3 three three Panthers, and the 3-2 Saints. Um, I'm going to pick the, the Saints uh, to win this game. Carolina hasn't shown me anything. They haven't shown me anything consistent. No, I just I don't believe in them. So I'm gonna take Drew Brees. I do believe he'll have Michael Thomas back after the team enforced suspension. So he's got his slant king back. So they'll they'll back to be they'll back they'll be back to their winning ways. So I've got New Orleans. Then the four and one Packers will take on the one and five Texans. Everybody saw how badly. Green Bay played on Sunday afternoon and even for for Houston they lost but they played like a team that should have won that game if it wasn't for Derrick Henry it, this game to me is actually kind of difficult to predict I I want to say the Packers because I love Aaron Rodgers he's my favorite quarterback in the league and then I want to say Houston because I love Deshaun Watson he's my second favorite quarterback in the entire league but these teams are on different different trajectories. They're built completely differently. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to take the Packers because they are the more talented group. 
hopefully Houston gets a low or uh, excuse me a high draft pick so they can get some key pieces and and hopefully start to turn the ship around there and, and get Deshaun Watson back into the playoffs very shortly uh, I, but I, I have Green Bay in this game then the four and two Browns will take on the one four and one Bengals the Browns they're falling off the rails everybody's writing for Odell to be traded or cut or released again uh, what else is new so they need a win in a bad way yeah they're four and two but they need a win in a bad way and, and, and they're gonna get it I do believe against Joe Burrow and the Bengals so I'm going with the Browns it's gonna be at the two and three Lions at the one and five Falcons I'm gonna take the Falcons their offense is high powered uh, and, and Detroit still kinda doesn't have an identity so at least we know what you can get out of Atlanta. They, they can mount a lead. Can they hold it? Who knows? But I trust their ability to, to get a lead against this team. And I will pick them. Then the 5-0 Seahawks will visit the 4-2 Cardinals. Oh boy, this game is going to be a doozy. Uh, Arizona, obviously, you look on paper, they're great. Seattle, you just you watch their games. They look like the cream of the crop right now in the NFC. I, I don't think there is a better team in the National Football Conference than the Seattle Seahawks, and I think they're going to prove that. I think they're going to get a big divisional statement win against Arizona and start taking that number one seed and uh, putting it out of reach for anybody else. They really want that buy more than anybody, it seems like. So I'm taking Seattle. Then we have the Jaguars and the Chargers. Um... It's going to be Justin Herbert and Gardner Minshew, and I like Justin Herbert in that offense in L.A. more than I like what they've done all year in Jacksonville, so give me the Chargers. Then the 3-3 three and three 49ers will visit the 2-3 and three New England Patriots. Uh, the, the Patriots need a win in a bad way. They are the better coached football team. They might not necessarily be the better team in, in terms of pure talent, but they need a, a win in a bad way. I trust Bill Belichick. I trust Cam Newton. I am going to pick the Patriots to win this game. The 5-1 and one Kansas City Chiefs will take on the 2-3 and three Denver Broncos. This one, to me, no-brainer. Give me Kansas City. Then the Sunday night football game will be the 4-2 and two Bucks at the 3-2 and two Las Vegas Raiders. Raiders are scary. Not a lot of people are talking about them. But I think they are a, a good team. That AFC West is a tough, 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 tough division. And I think the Chiefs being so good and the Broncos, prior to them being so good for so long, has built the bottom of that division to be tougher. And while the records of, of the other teams might not necessarily indicate that they are becoming tougher, you look at the Raiders this year, and certainly you can say that having played having to play these great teams twice a year has certainly forced them to become better and it's it's paying off and I like them actually I'm gonna pick them against Tampa Bay uh, I'm gonna say that the Buccaneers falter and then next week they'll probably right the ship against New York but you know you know how it is I'm, I'm gonna pick the Raiders that's gonna be my upset pick of the week on Sunday Night Football then on Monday Night Football, the 5-1 Bears will take on the 4-2 Rams. So you've got Nick Foles and the well-rounded Bears team versus Jared Goff and the offense-heavy L.A. Rams. And the Rams are going to need to score a lot of points, I think, to win this game. But the ball control and the defense in Chicago, I just I don't think is going to be able to be topped. So I'm going to pick Chicago in this game. To me, they are just the overall better team. And yeah, they're 5-1, and one, and I'm starting to believe. So maybe because I'm starting to believe, they'll prove me wrong, as all teams tend to do in this league. But uh, Chicago will be my pick on Monday night. So there you have it, ladies and germs. That is week seven in the National Football League. Stay healthy, stay safe. Enjoy some football. And I, for one, am going to go take a nap because I desperately need one.
Thank you all for watching, and I will catch you guys in week number eight halfway through the entire NFL season.